Hey everybody, Jacob with Scooters Lawn Care, and today we want to talk about the most important thing we have done in our marketing, what has done more for us than anything, and we did it right from the get-go, and that is our website. We want to talk about why it's important, uh, a little bit of the investment in it, and uh, touch on other topics. But getting into this, websites can be expensive. They can range in any amount of dollars. I've heard some crazy, crazy stories about what people have paid. And you have to think before you get into it. When we first did this, it was at the very beginning, you know, did the first year part-time, going into the second year, I said, we've got to have a website. We've got to grow. I'm not going to play games. We're, we're going to have every opportunity out there to grow. So we got a website. It was, you know, at first we'd had some Wix website that we tried to make, try to save money. If you're not on the first page, you might not even, you might as well not even, there's not a point. If, if that website's not going to make it to the first page, there's not a point. You know, uh, George Packard said it. He heard it from somebody else. The best place to hide a dead, po dead body, the second page of Google. So that's huge. And, and with that being said, so that first little Wix site we made to try to save money, to try to be smart with money, hurt us huge on the work we could have got. And then, you know, it's crazy what you do when you want to save some money. So then we paid someone $1,500 to make our website. It was the worst and the best experience website-wise we've had. We did it. It did rank well. Um, what we had made for us wasn't really what we ended up loving. It's kind of a bad experience. A lot of the stuff was plagiarized, and we had to uh, we had to kind of filter through it and, and try to make it all right. So with that being said, you know, I see a lot of things, people making $300, $400, $500 websites, and then people do that, trying to do that same thing, save some money. And, and what happens is if that thing isn't going to ever rank, you might as well just just take that $300 and throw it out the window. It's irrelevant because if it's not going to rank, it's not going to do anything for you. Might as well. It's just like having an ad and ad anywhere. Not enough people are going to see it. So you need to make sure it's going to be something that's eventually going to rank. So if you paid the three or $400 to save money and then you have to do it again and again and again, you know, you're right to where you could have been and had something, you know, like I said, the 1500 to $2,000 range where you can get someone to make something and it, it's going to end up ranking well and doing big things for your business. The next thing about this that I want to hit on is comparing this to other forms of marketing. Once that page ranks, yes, you should update your content. Yes, you should should change some things from time to time to make sure it's staying relevant, but it's up there. And and you could be doing minimal to it and it can stay there with a minor refreshing. Think about it. I thought when we first did that $1,500 website that it was like, man, I can't afford this. I can't afford this. I can't afford this. Well, we spend way more in a year just paying for newspaper ads. They're like 200 bucks a month. AdWords can... Last year, I think we were paying 300 something a month, and this year we pay even more. Um, Facebook, you know, that can be a lot of money a month. What else, what else do we do? Any kind of paper marketing that you print, you continuously put out there, that can be extraordinary, amount, extraordinary amounts of money for a one-time thing, where this website is gonna operate 24 hours a day, 365 days a year for you, and you need it to promote you well. You need it to be well written. You need great content in it. You need this thing to be the face of your business. You don't want someone to charge you. Not, I'm not saying you couldn't find someone that could do it for really low and give you all the great benefits, but you don't want to end up in the save money and then make yourself look you know, unprofessional. That's what I would have done. If I didn't have my wife to catch the grammatical and stuff on the first website we had made, I'm, I'm a numbers guy. I, I'll look stupid if I write something. So this website got made and I thought it looked great because it looked cool. And then she started reading it. She's like, wow, anybody educated that reads this is gonna, is gonna really knock you. And I'm like, we're already in the lawn care industry and people look down on it, which is ridiculous because it's an amazing industry, lawn and landscape. Let's, you know, you don't wanna start off behind the eight ball because of some bad literature, some bad content on your website. The third most important thing, and I'm, I don't know if it's third, but as I've been talking about this, some of the other important things to think about is this website thing, 
it doesn't happen instantly. It doesn't rank instantly. If you've never had a domain for your website, it's gonna take it a little bit of time. And I see a lot of people saying, I'm gonna get on that for spring of next year. Well, it's gonna take more than a month or two to get it to the first page if everything is brand new. So, you know, great marketers and people, and we're not great, we're just getting better. And, and that should be everybody's goal is to get better at marketing because that's what drives our sales and business. But great marketers market a year ahead of time, months ahead of time. Right now, if you build a website, it could probably be ranking by spring next year pr pretty well, you know, uh, within reason. And that all depends on how saturated your market is, how much competition there already is on the websites and on things that are moving around. You know, I, I'm not a professional, but uh, it's something that you want to do ahead of time and try to get it there. I will say our leads from our website are through the roof. It is something that has changed our business and everything in business that we have done, it seems like we've been really lucky because we've grown really quick. But the more I look back is I, when I originally, I think we did like $16,000 the first year part-time, like that is nothing. That is nothing at all. And I said, we've got to have a website. You know, when I could have said, man, we don't make enough money to pay for a website, but in reality, we said, man, we gotta have that website and it's gotta be ranking for next spring so we can get buku amounts of work. And I mean, the amount, I would say, that one factor alone is a lot of what took us from 16,000 in our first year to 108,000 our second year. You know, and that, given that I could operate full time and I could be 100% obsessed with it and work on it all the time, but you know, there's, there's just a lot that goes into this. There's a lot of preparation that needs to be done. And I see a lot of people wanting websites and wanting to do things and waiting to the last minute. And I just thought I'd make a video about our best marketing piece and say why now is the time. You need to get this stuff made. Whoever's making your website for you, or if you're thinking about having one made, don't think about spring 2018. You know, you plan ahead to succeed. You need to know where you're going and you need to plan to get there and you're not going to do it in the moment. You need to do it now so you can produce down the road. Um, I want you guys to look at everything like that. I'm not a business genius by any man means, but that's worked great for us. Everybody, I hope this has worked, or I hope this information has been very helpful for you. If you don't have a website yet, um, you know, there's a lot of good people out there. Uh, ask, you know, let us know if you need someone to make it. My wife does, she makes websites as well. But it's something that your business needs. It's something that we can capitalize on right now. You know, you wanna be ahead of your market. I still see a lot of people not have great websites, not performing websites. And uh, that's all gonna change. T five years? this won't be as easy to get to the top and it won't be, this market's gonna become more and more saturated because people are gonna see what it does for the business. I challenge you to figure it out today and get on the road to growing your business and using your website to get you more traffic and, uh, and keep you guys where you need to be pointed in the right direction. Everybody, Jacob with Scooters Lawn Care. Please like and subscribe. Leave some comments if you got any questions. I'll try to do my best to answer any of them. I've been way behind on answering questions just because of the nature of how everything's been lately. But I will be catching up, and I'll do a bulk catch-up here soon. Everybody have a great Sunday evening. Bye.